Ayo Johnson is an African affairs specialist and the director of Viewpoint Africa. And he joins us now live from London. What do you make of these latest clashes and uh, what do they say uh, about the political tensions in Guinea? Well, it shows that everyone's very nervous at the moment. Clearly, um, the clashes that have happened have come at a time when um, it's uh, leading on to the elections and uh, everyone is trying to intimidate one another. And the two parties that you've just mentioned, both of Mr. Diallo and Mr. Conde, um, they've got to control their people. And uh, it would appear that intimidation is the name of the game currently, especially well, leading on to these elections. What's at stake here that's causing this much tension? Well, um, very much. It's the uh, Mr. Diallo, who is a former prime minister. Um, uh, he's actually from the um, Fulani group, and they they would like their taste of power. They've never been in control of that country before. Um, uh, Mr. Conde, his party is from the Malinke, and they've been in control before. They're a small group. Um, uh, they 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 have large numbers of uh, influence in the army and within the political screen within Guinea, and uh, it would appear that. Uh, Everyone is trying to flex their muscles leading on to these crucial elections, the, the, the votes um, uh, next week. So the way you laid that out would suggest that, that this is a purely ethnic divide here that's, uh, that, that's really at issue. Well, it's, it's, it's ethnic. There's no doubt about that. I mean, traditionally, I mean, whenever there's elections, um, Africans tend to vote purely on ethnic lines. They vote not necessarily for the best candidates, but for those that represent their group, clan or tribe. So on that basis, it's purely ethnic. I mean, what it, what it does show is that there's a lot at stake. And clearly, the um, groups that are involved, both supporting the ex-Prime Minister um, uh, Diallo and that of Conde, are, are clearly going all out to ensure that one of them wins. But I think what has happened again is the, the arrest of the anti-corruption, the um, uh, electoral commissioner last week, and the, the, the fact that um, he's been found guilty um, uh, puts added pressure on the entire system. And uh, it would appear that this time round, um, they've got to ensure that there's peace and, and of course, for the elections to go smoothly, because uh, the neighbours of Sierra Leone and Liberia are desperately looking for mm. that. Well, Not the, to mention I mean, the endless investors in that country. The, the memories are still fresh, obviously, of the massacre that happened in a stadium not so very long ago. Are we likely to see this presidential runoff being marred by even worse scenes than we're seeing now? Well, I, I, we would hope not. But um, we, we've seen a frustration for the Guinean people where they've had from Sheku Ture to Lance Naconte to uh, um, uh, repeatedly so with coup d'etats, with Camara and, uh, and of course now Kunati. Um, the people of, of Guinea needs uh, change and they would like ideally to have the best for themselves. And uh, they've not seen that with respective uh, leaders that have come and passed. So uh, these elections are meant to be credible, um, but sadly they're being tainted by the, the violence that we're seeing and of course the fact that the army is interfering in the process itself and of course the, 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 the finding of guilty of, of the electoral commissioner um, makes it very, very difficult to see how we can progress further. But uh, it's very important that the African Union, the ECOWAS um, and, and, and that of uh, um, um, ECOWAS especially um, support and see how they can see this election through because it's very important that they, they come through. All right. Ayo Johnson in London. Thank you for talking to us. African Affairs, he joins us live from London. Thank you very much for uh, speaking to us. Uh, we've seen a lot of tension in the run-up to these 